We're back now at 7.42, and this morning on Today Investigates, a growing scam that preys on people who are looking to save a little money on their next car. NBC's Jeff Rawson is here with details on this. Jeff, good morning to you. Hey, Matt, good morning. We're always looking out for scams. This one caught our eye because police say it is the biggest auto scam going right now. A lot of us are looking to cut back, so instead of buying new cars, we're buying nice used cars. Now crooks are taking advantage and bilking car buyers out of billions of dollars. Stay police! It's the wake-up call you don't want to get. What's it like to have the police come to your door like this out of nowhere? It's shocking. <laughs> and this mother of three just got it. Faba Takis and her husband James are the victims of an elaborate auto scam. It's a nightmare. It's a total nightmare. Turns out the family SUV, the one they bought used through a newspaper ad four years ago, was stolen. And now, out of nowhere, the police are here to take it back. They said that the car had been stolen before I got it. But you and bought it legitimately. I bought it legitimately from a private party. But that doesn't matter. Today, the couple's kids have to clean out all their stuff on the spot before the police haul their car away. Thing is, this family did nothing wrong. They're one of thousands who bought used cars that looked like great deals and turned out to be real steals. How big is the scam? It's big. It's nationwide. It goes on all the time, all over. Police say the scam starts with that code stamped in the corner of your car's windshield. The vehicle identification number, or VIN. This is your car's identity, and thieves are using it to dupe innocent car buyers out of billions of dollars. It's called VIN cloning. Here's how it works. The thief steals a car, let's say this Nissan Murano, but they know when they try to sell it to you, the buyer, it'll come up stolen in the system. So here's how they get around it. They come to a public parking lot and find another Nissan Murano, same year, same color. They copy down that car's VIN number, located right here in the corner of the windshield. Then they make a fake VIN sticker and put the clean car's identity onto the stolen car. And voila, the stolen car looks legit. 